Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicat, and in this video, uh, as the second part of data masking, I'm explaining how to make it even more secure when you combine data masking with uh, role level security so that even users who can create report level measures on top of your model can see the confidential data. Let's see how it works. Um, in the previous video, I explained what is data masking. Let's say you want every user to come and log into this Power BI report. They see transactions of everyone, but they can only recognize their own transactions. For others, they can just see the data in a, uh, in a way that it is uh, hiding the confidential data. For example, I'm Reza, I can see my own transactions, but I won't know who the others are, but I can see their transactions, right? This is data masking. People won't be able to see that. And I explained that in the other video that the way that we did it was with hiding the original columns. Um, let me just show you over here. So we, uh, we made those original columns of email, name, and things like that, which is confidential, hidden, and uh, created a measure that shows this value. And it works perfectly fine. However, this, uh, this implementation is good for users who are going to be either end user or users who are going to do a visualization only in Power BI. They are not going to do um, any measures or anything like that. Here I have an example of this, uh, which I can show you how it works. So um, not this one, this one is, too many emails. Oh, here it is. So this one it is. So in this one, I have a live connection to uh, to the same data set now in the website. And uh, you can see that uh, I see only user one, user two, user three. But what I have done is to create a measure because uh, when you create live connection to Power BI data set, you can still create a measure. This is called report level measure. What I have done is I've done creating a new measure. In that measure, however, I do have access to those fields, even any field that is hidden. So here you can see that I have access to email, ID, name, even though they are hidden. Um, in From the DAX measures, I can actually access those so, because columns that are hidden are only hidden from the visualization view. They are still accessible through DAX. So then if I can write a measure like this, I would be able to access actually those information, even though uh, I shouldn't, I would be able to still get those information. So what is the solution? The solution is to combine uh, data masking with row level security, which is uh, uh, what I'm going to explain in this uh, video. So this is another example of that data masking example. And uh, in this one, what I have done is first I went to create a copy of my uh, sales rep table. So what I've done was duplicate of the sales table that created a new copy for a new table for me. I renamed it as a current user table. Uh, it has all the columns and data rows that that table had, right? with all the confidential data. So this is the copy of a confidential data as a separate table. Then I went to the first table and removed all the confidential information. You still need to keep your ID column because that is how you connect to other tables, right? But I removed those columns. Uh, and I created this table in Power Query. You might say, I want to create that in DAX using new table. That doesn't work because you are going to remove this column. If you are loading those columns, then they would be still accessible in Power BI, right? So either Power Query or in data source. After removing uh, those um, confidential columns from the actual table and having this table, current user table, which is all the confidential data, I load this data into Power BI. This automatically goes and create a relationship between these two, between the new current user table and the sales rep, because it is basically the same thing based on the ID both directional. Uh, but you need to remove that because uh, we are going to filter this table and we don't want the filtering of this table to affect that table. So I removed that relationship that it was created. I made this whole table hidden. You can hide the entire table, right? 
Uh, but there is still something that you need to do because all of these still means that in measure people can have access to this. So you need to filter this table using role level security, which you can do that using manage roles. I have created a role call it user, that role only filters this table, the current user table, and the role level security filter for that is a simple dynamic role level security, which is saying that their email should be equal to user principal name, meaning that this user only see uh, the records that um, are for this user particularly, right? So after doing this, the remaining is visualizations, everything like that. I used a measure, a DAX measure like this, to, um, to get the um, current user information. The expression is available uh, in my blog down in the description below. Uh, so after building this, uh, here I would see everything because this is the editor view, this is the report uh, owner view, I would see everything. But if I publish it to the website, uh, then from user point of view, this would be different just to show you how it is working. I'm logging into the Power BI website in this window. Uh, and when I log into the Power BI website, I would be able to uh, see that report. Actually, after publishing to the website, you need to add that user as a security. There are some relevant security steps involved. Um, but after that, uh, I can come and see this one. This is the user that got this uh, report shared with. So I can come here and you can see that this detected my account and it only shows the information for my account. For others, this is user one, user two, uh, user two, user three. Now this was available even in the previous one. The main one that was not available was that when I have live connection to, um, to that data set. So here is an example of that. So this is a live connection to the new data set that I have created, the one that is data masking and role level security together. Uh, what I have done, I have exactly the same measure that you have seen in the other one. Uh, this measure can access the name or any other confidential information columns, as you can see here, from the current user table because they are not available at all in the sales rep table. So this, user, this has access to that. But the thing is that because that table is filtered, so even though I can see this, if I use a measure like this in my uh, visualization, that measure only gives me my own information. So even if the transaction is for someone else, it won't be still showing me that person information because that table is already filtered. So using this way, combining rollable security and data masking together, I managed to hide those uh, completely from even a user who has access to creating uh, report level measures. If the user has edit access, of course, that user will see everything. Um, this uh, combination is a powerful example that can help for, with this scenario. There is another alternative uh, option for doing this, and that alternative option is instead of creating measures in the RLS scenario, you create the relationship between these two tables, but that relationship should not be both directional, not like this, that should be single directional, and you can't have single directional on one to one, so you should make it one to many, even if it is not, from sales rep to current user table, something like this, that the um, sales rep table filters the current user table, not the other table, this one. This is one of the alternatives, you might try that, but you, you need to be careful of how the relationship with other tables works. Um, uh, the files and all of the examples are available in the link down in the description below in my article. If you think uh, would be better to use this method or the method that I explained in the previous video, you should think about what your user type is. If your user is the person who is going to create a report level measure, then try this way because this is a way that you need to spend more time to implement it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.